All right, folks, welcome back. Today we are heading into a new flea market. We've been here once before. And we found a ton of Nike golf clubs. Yeah, we found a ton of uh, Nike golf clubs, so hopefully our luck continues. But mm -hmm. I say it's new because it's usually a Wednesday flea market, but today they've uh, opened up for uh, Saturday and Sunday yeah. for the first week, I think. So excited to uh, check it out, see if it's just as good. Also, we're going to go to one of our favorite flea markets after that. So we always find golf clubs. Yeah, we always find golf clubs there, but uh, stay tuned. Never know what you're going to find, so let's go find it. Let's go find it. successfully found fake Jordans. That's when you know we're at a flea market. Oh, and there's pigs. Oh, literally pigs. <laughs> Sweet. I've never seen this before. It's literally a cart girl at a flea market. Pretty cool for the vendors too. Yeah, the vendors don't have to go anywhere. Oh, are you selling those golf clubs? Are you selling the golf clubs? Oh, okay. I have golf clubs for sale. Oh, really? <coughs> The Taylor made RBZ in the that head cover. Yeah. <clears throat> what I'll do? It had a crack in it. And oh, okay. And I patched it. I'll take forty bucks. Oh, I'm okay on that one. The is that a Callaway over there? The hybrid next to the Adams. Uh, uh, yeah, those are steelheads. Okay. I have a whole set. Oh wow. Three, five, seven, nine, eleven. Do you know how much you would want for those? Uh, I would take forty for the set. Forty for the set? Yeah. I even made some. I even made some special head covers. Oh, cool. <laughs> cool. Oh, they're the old ones. So that they're, heads. yeah. Oh, they're nice clubs, though. Mm -hmm. I've got, I sell clubs on eBay, I've got, oh, okay. I've got thousands of clubs. <laughs> you ever bring them out here? I haven't yet. Uh, I think you need something, or if you need golf balls, like, okay. golf balls for three bucks a dozen. Cool, thank you, have thank a good one. Patch. Well, flea market number one, and that was the closest we came to uh, buying some uh, golf clubs. Yeah, I saw it out the corner of my eye, and I was like, stop! Yeah, <laughs> we almost bought him out the uh, truck as yeah. he was, uh, packing up for the uh, day, but we'll meet you at the uh, next flea market. Well, I still got that Callaway Diablo bag. That thing was awesome. It was out of our price range, but check this one out. We got a Titleist staff bag. That thing looks awesome. It's got a name on it. No. Nope. 50th anniversary Prairie Country Club. It's kind of cool. Let's see what kind of clubs they got for us. Old uh, Biggest Big Bertha for 35. What else we got over here? Lefty Taylor Made Spider. Not a pink stuff. Yeah. <laughs> say, uh, yeah. Yeah. No. Seventy-five bucks, not a bad deal, actually. Odyssey two ball for sixty-five. Got a Sigma over here. Bunch of lefty stuff. It's mm -hmm. like lefty heaven. We found a bunch of lefty stuff in the last video too. Yeah. Mm, Pink gnome, gnome yeah. Huh. <laughs> Older stuff over here. Ping I two five wood. This kind of looks like a Bobby and eh, Dunlop. Kind of looks yeah. like the Bobby Grace Fat Lady swings. Old Ben Hogan wedge. Oh, nice. We got a Nike SV wedge. Might have to pick that up. Ripstop wedge. Oh yeah, illegal whip stop. We brought those out to the part three course before. It was been hilarious play with them. <laughs> we should do a video on that. Just the uh, rip stop illegal wedges on a part three course. Yeah, the soulless, soulless wedges. I like the soulless wedges. The grind is really good, but when you hit full shots with them, they just like, yeah. they're not good. Let's just put it that way. Mac Daddy 4 for 35. That's a really good deal on that. Zuno. Oh, these are, uh, I think there's a one length. 38 inch. Yeah, they're all the same length. You don't really see them get converted very much usually. This is the perfect example of what we mean by knockoff stuff. Yeah. It's like the alien wedge. <laughs> Something very, very similar. Best selling golf club of all time. I wonder why they knocked it off. Yeah. Alright, we'll let you know if we end up picking pick anything up. You know the best you can do on these two guys? Oh, this looks like that. Okay. 
And this one I'll do 10. Sounds good. All right, after striking out for basically the entire day, things are starting to heat up. We got a uh, TaylorMade Spider Tour putter and a uh, Nike SV wedge. The uh, wedge was $10, and then the uh, putter was uh, originally $75, went down to $60, and the wedge was $15, went down to $10. So definite, yeah, definitely a uh, good deal there. We'll meet you with our uh, our next pickup. Thank you. Can we also do an Arnold Bummer? With the uh, unsweet tea? With the unsweet tea? Yeah. Thank you. Save some calories. <laughs> Not only are the golf clubs heating up, but check out this food. I don't know if I've ever been so simultaneously disgusted and intrigued by a food before. It is a pulled pork cup, coleslaw, pulled pork, and mac and cheese. Also, we got a uh, Arnold Palmer. And you get the mac and cheese too. All right, I think I got the pork. We'll try the pulled pork. That's going to be the star of the show. Oh, really good. Is it good? That is four days worth of uh, caloric intake. <laughs> but it's in a cup, it's so convenient. <laughs> yeah, you just walk around with a big old pulled pork cup and an Arnold Palmer. What more do you need? I think I got some mac and cheese. Nice, the perfect, the trifecta. I'm gonna lose some, I know it. <laughs> you got this. Well, it's not the prettiest, but. Me? No, the bite. <laughs> that wasn't a princess bite. Either way. <laughs> That's ridiculously it's good. really good. We also have like Korean barbecue. Next time. We survived this. This is amazing. We'll be to the next spot. This is going to be the best dollar we spent all day. You get a picture? <laughs> That's amazing. Thank you. All right, one of our favorite golf shops. Let's see what they got for us. We've never actually walked in from uh, this angle yeah, before. Yeah, $3 any club. We got a Ping I2 4 wood. Uh, the uh, whipping's a little off on that one, but it's still pretty uh, cool. Oh, look at this. We got a uh, zebra. What? My dad's obsessed with the uh, zebra putters. I didn't even know that they made zebra drivers. No. Does it have the uh, same paint? We just found the chipper a while back. Yeah, he was excited to do it. We'll pick that up. It's only $3. <laughs> He's worth $3. Does it have the same paint color, though, or like the uh, the zebra lines? Maybe we should add lines for him. Yeah, we'll paint customize on. it for him. Get a uh, Callaway uh, knockoff so over there. Tigress, Tigress with tiger in the background. All right, let's see what they got. This is the uh, Bushwood uh, Golf Shack. Already got a club. Oh, what up, Grady? How's it doing? How's it going? Yeah. There we go. Official Day's greeter. Complete. Well, we got the uh, ping putters over here. The ping zing. Going for seventy bucks on a bad deal. A bunch of uh, newer Cleveland putters. Hundred dollars on those. That McGregor bag is awesome. North Carolina Tar Heel. Oh, so cool. That thing is super cool. Putters, two for 16. Oh yeah, I never noticed the uh, displays. That's kind of cool. A bunch of uh, bags, we'll check those out here in a second. Let's check out the uh, clubs. Last time we were in here, we picked up a M2 with a uh, Ventus shaft in here. Definitely a, a good deal. Titleist 9, 10, R15. We actually just sold one of these for 129. Yes. Decent deal. You don't have to pay for shipping. Whoa, what is this? Speed Gold. Is that a Cobra? I've never seen this before. $270. Literally never seen a head cover like that either. Very interesting. You can see what it is. Get a Ping uh, G15 knockoff. The P16. There you go. Got a Felon. Whoa, what is this? <laughs> that was a Titleist Forge 380. This is a, yeah, I got a bunch of uh, interesting uh, knockoffs in here. We got an R7. What else we got over here? Bunch of loose ping irons, $20 a piece. It's like a suitcase. It has wheels. Oh, wow, I've never seen that before. It's like they're uh, fitting one. Oh, check this out. Orlando Magic with the pinstripes. That thing is awesome. So it's got to be like 200 cool. bucks. This job to win. It's only $25. <laughs> Definitely gonna have to pick that up. Yeah. Just throw the clubs in there. there you go. We don't even need to carry that around. That thing is amazing. Let's see if there's any. Got some Callaway Rogue hybrids, $120 on those. This place has a really cool display for their uh, golf balls. They like cut them open so you can see like the uh, multi layers and everything like that. You know, a lot of Nike yeah, this is like the only place where you can find Nike golf balls. I feel like we've mentioned Nike a lot today. We'll probably continue. Well, we have no chance of being sponsored by them, so you know we're not. We're not oh, speaking of uh, Nike, fifty-two dollars on the Nike Vapor Flies. If we find a full set of those, those would go straight in the bag, just based on looks. They're so cool. The uh, um, the three iron and the two irons of those, those go for like six or seven hundred dollars a piece. 
Yeah, Brooks Kepka. I think he just switched, but Brooks Kepka was using one for a while, and so is Tony Fino. So they have a, a huge collector's market behind them. All right, we'll let you know if we find anything else. But in the bucket. Oh, dude, that's a Studio Stainless 2.5. Oh man, that is one of my 260. That's actually a really good price. They still go for like $400. That thing is absolutely. Um, I wonder if someone was hiding it. That. Huh. I kind of speechless on that one. That, that might need to get purchased. Yeah. That's more than we usually spend on clothes, but that one is... I do get a golf bag. Though. Yeah, you could get the golf bag, I'll get the putter. <laughs> See if there's any clubs in here that uh, <laughs> we can uh, flip to uh, pay for that. Oh, cool, the Wood Brothers. If you ever find the uh, persimmon woods of the Wood Brothers, those things go for huge money. They're like one of the only persimmons that still go for a ton of money. Yeah. I'll throw up some eBay comps. I've seen them go for over $1,000. What else we got going on over here? I can't even think after that putter. <laughs> we'll let you know if we find anything else, but uh, I think that putter is going to be hard to beat. All right, I think we got a bundle. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Oh, you're getting with the Orlando bag. Yeah, I can't believe you had to mark that down. No one wanted it. That's crazy. I've had for two years. Wow. Yeah. How long have you had this? Uh, oh, probably not two years. Two weeks. Two weeks? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to leave it by this front door. Well, I got you. Yeah. Understandable, but I just curiosity picked it up. Yeah. And this was a uh, $3 one, so yeah. I won't yeah. negotiate yeah. with you on that, but what are you thinking on the uh, bag and the putter? I'll just throw the bag in. Okay. You can't walk by. Yeah. Cool. That sounds good. All right, folks, what a find there at the end. We just got done trying everything out at the driving range. We'll throw up some shot tracers and some eBay yeah. comps, but definitely. That was a very slow start, though. It definitely heated up at the end. Though. Yeah, that was about as slow of a start as you could possibly get. Yeah. Although, that one guy, we almost bought uh, clubs out of his uh, van. <laughs> that would have been interesting. Yeah, I don't know what was going on with the, uh, what was it, the TaylorMade the RBZ? The driver with, like, I think it was lead. I think he filled it with lead. I don't know how that's going to. Uh, I would rather just play a crack driver. Yeah. The lead is going to make it, like, Super heavy. Super heavy. I don't know what's going on there. And then I got super excited. There was a Callaway uh, Steelhead XRs, but they were the old Callaway yeah, Steelheads. Head covers. Was kind of uh, interesting as well, but uh, not as interesting as the clubs that we ended up yes. getting. We'll go through everything that we got in the order that we got it. And I think the uh, first clubs that we actually ended up picking up were the uh, Nike SV Wedge for $15. Mm -hmm. Actually, we got it for $10. He uh, gave us a little bit of deal on that one and the uh, putter. But of all the Nike clubs, that was probably one of the uh, less uh, desirable ones. Basically, every brand had, even Scotty Cameron, they yeah. have like the Calientes or the original Futuras don't go for that much mm -hmm. that's kind of the case with the uh, nike sv wedge it's but still a good wedge. yeah it's still a good nike engage though right yeah i like the uh, nike engage wedge those ones are my uh, favorite of them still in the yeah the, yeah the toe sweep those things have some uh, sweet grinds on mm -hmm. there and they look uh, really good definitely one of my favorites because i still use them shocking shocking there but uh i think we've mentioned nike 400 times in uh, this video we'll stop with that okay. but uh we also picked up the uh, taylor made tour spider the uh, red edition one this mm -hmm. one still goes for over 100 dollars. it was 75 dollars, and he gave it to us for uh, 60 so very excited about that and our lefties are going to be very excited because we've yeah. been finding some uh, lefty stuff people that, it's very rare for us to find lefty clubs and now we're like well stocked so. yeah i always feel bad for lefties because we go in and like find stuff that's like kind of hard to find for righties and it's near impossible to find for lefties yeah. oh the last video we found the uh, titleist uh, 714 cb bees which are uh, a very good iron yes. so look for those uh, both of those to be on our ebay store we'll link that in the description below yeah. and then after that we got basically everything <laughs> at the uh, one shop yep. the uh, zebra driver i don't know if my dad's gonna like that or if he knows that it existed because i didn't know that it existed maybe he's more of a, a zebra fan girl than me yeah, but well, we're, gonna find, we're gonna find out but that I think one very good. It was very hard to hit. I managed, I think I hit like 10 shots with it. I managed to get one up in the air. Also, we got this uh, Orlando Magic Bag, which might be the coolest bag that we have ever found. This thing is awesome. It's got the pinstripes and everything, and it's also got the uh, rain cover in there. It's I was the really blue. I hoping that it had like a basketball on there. Oh, yeah. Just straight blue, but it's yeah, still really cool. It's still really cool with the uh, pinstripes and everything. Super cool patch, and I can't believe he's had that in there for two years. I'm tired of looking at it. Yeah, and then that uh, flea market in Auburndale is basically like 45 minutes from downtown Orlando, depending on traffic. It could be like four hours has been based on i4 traffic yeah. but uh, definitely it's not too bad of a yeah a uh, cool finds there but the find of the day if you uh, ask me is the scotty cameron studio stainless two point or newport 2.5 that thing yeah hidden in a bucket that was crazy yeah he kept it close to the uh the counter there because he was afraid uh, somebody was gonna steal he didn't want to buy sense. the uh, front door i would keep that one close to home as well and that one's going to 
stay very close to home because I'm definitely going to uh, keep that. This is one that has been on my bucket list forever. The Yo. Studio Stainless and the Pro Platinum are my favorite finishes of the Scotty Cameron. One of the best feels, and we had a little uh, game of uh, horse, and I finally beat Ashley in a putting game. This is your putter for sure. This is definitely uh, my putter for uh, sure. Yeah. I think you probably let me win, although I had to make like a 50 footer to uh, win oh, the game of horse. Impressive. You had the head cover, we found it a while back, so I. I, I... I knew it was destined to it be. It was destined to be. We had the uh, head cover uh, waiting for yep. it. Just, just needed to find the uh, putter. But hope you guys did like this video. If you did like the button, subscribe. And we'll see you next time. See you next time, guys. Thanks for watching. We've got a uh, road trip coming up, so make sure you yes. subscribe for that. And uh, hit the like video for, uh, or hit the like button on the video because Ashley only finds the good stuff. Correct. Correct. I feel like it's been 30 <laughs> videos in a row where I've just been standing there and Ashley <laughs> finds the good stuff. You're a good cameraman, though. I am. I and don't know narrator. if I'm a. I am not a good narrator. I just talk a lot and I'm not a very good cameraman. It's very wobbly. It's very hot out here too. That's why there's no one out here for the oh, yeah. crazy ones. Good news. <laughs> if you guys are uh, looking for the uh, course logs, we haven't been able to play because it's spring break. Last week I tried to play 18 holes and I walked off after nine because it took me three hours to play. So imagine like setting up the cameras and everything. So it's course intense. logs are coming soon. Lots we're probably, gonna, yeah, we're probably going to uh, pass out of heat stroke a few times for you guys, but it's, it's worth it. It is worth it. <laughs> no, Hope you guys did like this video, like, and subscribe, and we'll see, you next time. see you next time. Keep waving. There you go. Bye. Double wave. Double wave. There you go. We'll see you next time. Oh, our first nature spotting in a while. Oh wow, majestic. Oh, oh. He's gonna kill us. So is the starter. We'll see you next time.